Welcome to the Halloween episode. I've got some tricks and treats up my sleeve. What's up everybody, I'm Kelsey and I thought it would be funny if I tried the 100 infant challenge. It's a challenge of the Sims 4 where you have one matriarch and the goal is to have 100 children, all with different partners. It's basically the 100 baby challenge, except for I threw all the rules out the door. I have some good news and I have some bad news. The bad news is that I filmed an entire episode of this challenge. Unfortunately, the footage was corrupted. So you may notice that a lot of the kids Kids have aged up, new relationships formed, Chelsea's had some babies. All of that unfortunately happened and I have been unable to recover my past saves. The good news <laughs> is that I'm down to do it all over again, baby. <laughs> Last time I got deeply rejected by Gudri. You can see Chelsea's face. We tried to seduce Gudri as was requested by my Patreon members. He rejected us. As you can see in the notifications wall, it says, I'm flattered, but I am not interested in that type of relationship with you, but I would be happy if you would like to be friends. You can also see that I actually attempted to have a relationship with the like evil female ghost character and she also rejected Chelsea. Even if they didn't reject me, getting pregnant with ghosts in The Sims takes kind of a lot of work and a lot of cheat. It's not a supernatural process. Pun intended. Ba -ba -ba. Let's hop into this extra special spooky wacky episode here. The quadruplets are still adults as before, but Daisy and Clem at the very end of last episode actually became adults as well, which means that it is time to finally say goodbye to our quadruplets. We also then have the triplets, Maurice, Audrey and Izzy all aged up. Audrey and Izzy having this fantastic blue hair and Maurice having this fantastic blue eyebrows. And then we have Lawrence and Lacey who have aged up into little Todd. They're the children of Ben Barnes. Are these Ben Barnes' the children? Hello? Who's your dad? Yep, these are Ben Barnes's children. They take after Chelsea. And then of course we have Frank and Jason who I was just about to age up. It is their birthday. Excuse me, why is this saying it's everybody's birthday? That's not right because we did just have Dorian and Azriel, who were of course Chelsea's children with Resand. So thank you guys for suggesting your baby names in the comments. Estrella is dressed for a Halloween party, but we're getting a little ahead of ourselves because we're going to have a Halloween party later. Chelsea, as you can see, is exhausted. Let's try to take care of our Sims a little bit and move forward from here. And we got to pass out. The children are aging up. Ah! Jason aged up and he is cautious. And Frank aged up and he is intense. Chelsea is going to, I guess, take care of some kids here. We have Frank and Jason who are our spooky babies. Who is your parent? Yeah, the mermaid. So we're gonna move them downstairs, but first we're gonna say goodbye to our quadruplets. I loved having them. It's been so nice having some quadruplets. So I'm gonna have her move. So we got Ryan is gonna move in with Star. Perfect. Comet as well. Comet, you're looking great with those sunglasses. Comet's also moving in with Star. Estrella, Asteria, pronounce her name different absolutely every time. Maintain, move into other households with Star. All right, they've all moved into their other households with, oh my gosh, I always love it when my Sims, like their little faces get bigger. I'm like, oh my gosh the way it was meant to be. Daisy Daisy, thank you so much for volunteering to take Frank and putting him downstairs, all right? Oh my God, there's so much magic here. Let's put Frank down here and then you can put Jason to bed. Please and thank you, girls. Maurice, Maurice, you need to go to bed. Oh my God, oh my God. The children are screaming, crying. Maurice, go to sleep. Audrey go to sleep. And Izzy also needs to go to sleep. Pretty much everyone's upset because they're all spooked out. Oh God, they all have terrible needs. What happened? I was not gone long. How did this all occur? This is my own horror movie. Go take care of the babies. We're taking some babies downstairs. All the other kids are going to bed. Frank is doing fine, I suppose. There are lots of ghosts in our home, despite being it's 6 a.m. Oh, I guess Chelsea's stolen the baby from her. Jason, get mom to feed you. Aren't you gonna feed him? What are you doing, girl? 
Girl, what are you doing? Why are you not taking care of your children like I asked you to? Oh my gosh, bye, Star. She's like, not my monkeys, not my problem. Jason, meanwhile, is having a bit of a, a tough go, a tough time. How are you two doing up here? Okay, Azrael looks like he's been taken care of. Perfect. Everyone could use a bit of sleep right now. It is daytime. Maybe their days and nights are going to be swapped because of the ghost. We need to shut this down, all right, ghosts? Oh, she's too tired to do anything. Shoot. All right, Chelsea, you do need to put him down, though. So go, go put Jason to bed, please. And then you can go to bed yourself. She's like, I'm exhausted. This is a lot to handle having a haunted house and a bunch of children. But you're doing amazing, Chelsea, okay? You're doing amazing. And speaking of amazing things, we're gonna have her become that paranormal detective we always wanted her to be. That's right, baby. I went to the reward store. I blew all the available points that we had on the license for Chelsea to go do this job once in this episode. So I'm excited to try it out. I haven't really done it too much. I think we're gonna do, okay, starts at Friday 9.30. What's today? Oh, perfect. It's already Friday, so it'll be this evening. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go for like a medium paranormal investigation. It, it does pay like a pretty good amount of money. It's not about the money, okay? It's about, oh my God. I didn't know you could fall in the primordial goop of whatever that is, the ghost goop. As you can see, you know, we've been having a bit of a Halloween little party. So we've got some Halloween things around town. Most of all, we need to restock our fridge over here. My children need to stop crying. Oh wait, the girls need to go to school. All of you need to go to school. The rest of you don't have to. Let's pull out my favorite, this guy. Looks like Chelsea's cooking up something. Chelsea, no, 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 grab a serving here. Quickly, quickly before you run out of food here. My children making all this mess over here. You can tell there was a party, that's for sure. Okay, Audrey's off to school. Bye, Audrey. Are the rest of you going to school? Izzy's scared. Are you going? Oh, <laughs> no, Daisy. Not you too, I'm sorry, Daisy. Actually, Daisy, while you're up, why don't you mop up that slime creature really quick? Since your mom's going off to bed, it's like, it would be really nice of you to help with that. Food's all sorted. Chelsea's got her job this evening and is now in bed sleeping and not napping, please. Thank you. Great, we got Daisy up taking care of her needs. She wants to start a new relationship from being non-committal, she's like, I would love to just get a little action here. Oh, in honor of Love Day. Oh my gosh, it's Love Day. A bit of a different holiday. In honor of Love Day, Aubrey School. Oh, Audrey's always allow students to buy flowers to be delivered to each other during class. With somebody to spend, Audrey decided to take advantage of the fundraiser and celebrate the holiday. Oh, buy flowers for everyone in class. Oh no, Audrey decided to surprise the entire class with flowers. Unfortunately, she forgot to sign the cards. When the flowers were delivered, another kid took the credit for her flowers. That's lame. Ooh, exchanging secret Love Day cards for Love Day, Maurice decided to handcraft a card for their crush complete with pipe cleaner hearts, glitter flowers, and dinosaurs. He just needs to decide if he should let it slip that it was him who made the card or secretly drop it in their cubby. I think you should boldly deliver the card by hand. Oh no, Maurice also had a bad Love Day. Oh, Maurice's crush didn't know he existed. That was an opportunity to change that. He bypassed the cubby in favor of hand delivery. Unfortunately, he wasn't able to find his crush on the playground. By the time Maurice gave up and returned to the cubby, his crush is book bag was gone. Oh no, he missed out. Oh, well, at least you didn't get like rejected, rejected. Oh gosh, Izzy's got a love day event too. I want to have her also buy flowers for everyone in class. Oh, oh, she had the same thing happen to her where someone else took the credit. Take care of Azriel, and then you need to go back to bed, Chelsea, because you got stuff to do later. Also got to get pregnant. We're going to be letting days pass without her pregnant. She'll get up there in years. We're trying to hustle, baby. We need to find someone. Johan, he's got a spouse, but she is an elder. Maybe they wouldn't be able to have kids regardless. Chelsea be doing this man a favor. I would rather have like a spooky romance, something Halloween related. Maybe Dawn? Oh no, we already had a baby with Dawn. I was like, Dawn is technically a ghost. Did we ever have Kyle Kyleson's kid? I think we did. Did we? Did we? Didn't we? See, it's at this point that I just don't know. That's my son. We are not having kids with him. Whew. Could try to still have a baby with a ghost. Malcolm Landgrab, we already had babies with. Who am I supposed to seduce now? 
I mean, we've done all the occults. I also did a, an occult baby challenge. I'm gonna think about this while Chelsea takes a nap. We might, you know, be able to just hit up the supernatural bar in a Moodwood Mill, hope for the best. I think mostly supernaturals are drawn there, like all kinds. Go to the old Moonwood Mill uh, bar and bunker. Try to figure out if we can catch ourselves a spooky bay. A boo, one might say. I know Chelsea's looking bewitching today. <laughs> We are here at the bar and no one else is. I mean, I get it, it's 3 p.m., but like, you know, come on, what's that about? We're gonna nap until like cool people show up. Okay, we've been here at least two hours. The only person that's shown up is this girl, who is Danny Davila. Danny seems flirty. Looks like Danny's flirting with Chloe. Maybe we don't find our spooky bay at this bar. Maybe we'll find our spooky bay at our gig when we go become a paranormal investigator. Maybe we fall in love in a house while under duress, being the hero that they deserve, saving the day, and then she falls in love. Or maybe she randomly gets flirted with by this lady. She really is laying it on pretty thick. I wouldn't blame Chelsea, like batting those lashes and those freckles. Chelsea's putting on the moves. That's it. It's a very awkward encounter. Chloe is angry. Oh my God, Chloe, were you guys flirting? Danny says she's single, okay? Chloe seems mad though. This is uncomfortable. Oh my God. Ah! Hey, it's my daughter. Okay, finally a supernatural who isn't a werewolf arrived and it is my own flesh and blood, my own daughter. Great, 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 great. Oh, we could burn money. I mean, we do have enough money to do so. I wanna be chaotic and burn some money right now. Maybe if Chelsea flexes, she'll impress the lovely ladies over here. So go off, Chelsea. There she goes, burning her money. That was it. Not a lot of exciting characters here. Who's this guy? He does not look supernatural either. Maybe we could sing about Love Day to Danny. Kind of have her as a backup. And Danny's walking away. Danny, are you wanting to talk with us? Nope, Danny doesn't want to talk with us. And it's ladies night. Okay, well, in that case, I suppose I'm just gonna go home. I've got to work in about an hour and 30 minutes. Oh my gosh, it's Gudri the ghost. Oh my gosh, Gudri. Drop everything, Kelsey. Let's see if we, or Chelsea. Oh my gosh, I have not had an accidental. <laughs> an accidental name switch up in a minute. Okay, Gudri, 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 Gudri. Will you marry me? Will you love me? Please, Gudri, Gudri, Gudri. I want to romance you. Wait a second. Gudri, can I confess my attraction to you? Maybe, maybe this Gudri is. Shoot, it's time for Chelsea's investigation. Just as Gudru is coming and finally giving us the love that we deserve, I was gonna close the deal with Gudru. He was seeming open to my romantic advances where he hasn't been in the past. It's fine, it's fine. Keeping all of us on our toes. Who will Chelsea end up with at the end of the episode? Who will she fall in love with? Will it be Gudri? Will it be the rando girl we met at the bar? Or will it be someone we meet? right about now. Looks like a cool place. Doesn't look too supernatural, except for, ha ha, someone has died here. Who is it? Destiny Dreamer. Are you haunting this home, Destiny? We'll see. All right, also Chelsea is exhausted. I'm sorry, girl. I'm sorry, you're gonna have a pretty late night tonight. Doing away with some ghosts. Your work day ends at 6.30 a.m. L Dreamer. Oh my gosh. L Dreamer, you must be related to Destiny. Also, she's a teen, so I guess we're not gonna romance her. So far, I'm not really seeing any supernatural things around the house. Nothing in here, although this llama's, it's a little concerning, but I think everything's okay. Nothing to see here, except for, I think this is an urn. Another death possibly lurks in this home. Very nice, big bathroom, big bathtub, a grill. Maybe where one of our Sims was murdered. Murdered by Grill. Nothing to see down here. Upstairs, we've got Aldo Low, a young adult. Are you seeing anyone, Aldo Low? Maybe we'll go wake him up. There's nothing in his room. So Lisa Lee, it's nice to meet you as well. Don't work. Okay, I definitely heard something just then. Look at them both. They're like, oh no, this is spooky. But don't worry, L. okay? Chelsea and Peachishme is here. I've got the badge. I also am a mom. Okay, who's this guy? Is this the guy that was sleeping in the bed? Aldo Low. Oh, oh wow, she's paranoid too. Okay, they're both freaking each other out. Calm down! Also, hello there, sailor. Are you single? What's going on there? 
He doesn't have any children or a spouse. Destiny Dreamer was his mom. What was your mom? Also Destiny Dreamer was Slender Man Jr. Oh my God. So they're half siblings. Yeah, honey. She's like, um, please stop flirting with my brother. I'm like in the middle of you two. He didn't like our flirting, probably cause he's terrified. He's like, I'm a little, I'm not really looking for love right now. She's like, don't worry, I'm a professional. Come on, don't you wanna hook up? That's the bet. Oh no, he's wanting to go to bed. Okay, never mind. Apparently nobody, oh yeah. I'm now understanding where the spookiness is coming in. We did hear a spooky voice and there's a spooky doll that just appeared in this bathroom that was definitely not there before, but nothing Chelsea hasn't seen. Boom, bye ya, baby. Get out. Chelsea's feeling pretty proud of herself. So proud that she's going to have a snack. We're gonna have a quick meal of some cereal. Don't worry, me and my Fruit Loops are gonna make sure everybody's okay. He just fell asleep. They fully just both went to bed. Oh, and she's sad about losing a friend who died. Who died? She also is kind of spooked by the house. Bro, who died though? I don't know who died. Let's wake this man up. Wakey, wakey. No sleep for you, sir. I need to get pregnant again. Thank goodness you're here, he says. Yeah, no worries. I got you, Aldo. I'm gonna compliment your outfit. He is feeling flirty now. Okay. She's like, don't worry, I'll protect you. <laughs> The best medicine sometimes is love. I've got an empty uterus just waiting to be. I think he mostly denied us earlier because his little sister was in the room, but now that she is not, we're all in, baby. Full steam ahead. Who cares about the haunted house? Not me. There we go. A steamy exchange is occurring. Okay, perfect. And I did notice they had a conveniently placed little closet upstairs. You wanna go up to the closet? It seems like he is a fan. Yes, we're going up to the closet, baby. Take that, Gudry. Oh, goodness, all right. Wow, he just really tackled Chelsea a little bit there. Okay. I think he needed the distraction, the stress relief. <laughs> You know, I'm sure being stuck in a haunted house is very stressful. I didn't think this would be what would be rattling about the house. <laughs> Love in strange places. Oh no. Ken and Peter Schmidt passed. Wait, why? What happened to Ken? He wasn't even that old. Okay, we're gonna have to figure out what happened to Ken. I feel like it must've been some sort of neighborhood story that happened. Our son just died, so this is pretty good timing for us to have gotten pregnant right before we found out about that. All right, Josie's back on the case, taking care of your supernatural issues over here. Don't you worry about a thing. We're gonna remove these twisted tendrils. Chelsea is feeling a little stank. She needs a bit of a, a, bit of a shower, but that's okay. We can maybe brush our teeth and wash our hair in a minute once we take care of some of these super natural issues. I'm not gonna lie, looking in mirrors and bathrooms during horror movies, scariest part of horror movies. We're still figuring out the investigation here. I guess we could have brought our seance table. It's almost 5 a.m. So I feel like our shift's pretty close to being done. Oh, and Ch Chelsea decided to take a nap. Okay, yeah, her investigation will end in an hour. There's nothing really, oh, nope, there's a doll in here. Don't worry. I just needed a little nap, I'm good. In the kid's room, it was empty. No one said anything, no one saw anything. She did not like the creepy doll. She's like, as a mother, this is concerning. Why don't you grab a quick meal? Don't think they'll let you really cook noodles. She failed to complete the gig on time. All right, well, that's all right. I think we completed some other <laughs> things, you know what I'm saying? I think we're okay. I'm not too worried about it. Our spooky party starts soon. We need to take care of the children. Okay, oh God, Chelsea's on the phone. Chelsea's on the phone, repeat, Chelsea's on the phone. I guess we'll have the children come take care of the other children. Mom did not feed either of them. She's just like, oh, my kid's calling. Gotta pick it up. I'm like, girl, can we get Chelsea to give you some potty help? We need some potty help over here. Luckily, Daisy's just a boss. Clementine is coming in hot. She's also gonna take care of some kids. The twins, luckily, are boss in it. Chelsea's like, I got you kid. I'm gonna put you on the toilet. Nope, we're starting, we're starting our party. It's party time. Let's look at everyone's costume. So Maurice is going as the Headless Horseman. Love that Maurice. Izzy is going as a skeleton, but a very sad skeleton whose brother died. Audrey is going as 
I guess she's not dressed up. I don't know. Flem is a very sad looking fighter pilot person. Daisy is some sort of pilot. The younger kids don't have costumes, which is sad. I feel like they should. Why don't you? Oh, Izzy's dancing. Should I put it on like Halloween music? Spooky. So not a spooky one. Spooky. There you go. One of you should come down here and maybe carve a little pumpkin. Maybe carve a classic pumpkin. Let's do like a little orange classic pumpkin for you. We got some spooky music music on. We got some mac and cheese on the stove. Daisy, if you burn down my house, I swear to gosh. How are you doing? Oh, you need hygiene bad. Okay, Chelsea, why don't, oh, she's an astronaut. She's the party don't unfortunately stop just because the kids are having a good. This is the saddest Halloween party I've ever seen. Okay. Can you two maybe ask each other for party treats? Nope. Console about death. Okay, maybe we should. Maybe we should discuss costumes. There you go. Let's talk about costumes together. You kind of are both on the same theme. Lawrence, why don't you go to sleep, sweetie, since you seem... Lacey, maybe you should go to sleep too. You guys both seem rough. Chelsea's over here taking care of the babies. Oh, Comet came over. He dressed like Daisy, okay. Brody came over. He's a pizza guy. Who's this? Luna. Luna's a robo girl. Oh, Azrael aged up. And he's Sunny and Dorian aged up and he's Wiggly. I love that. Wow, they're both here and they both have blonde hair instead of dark hair. <laughs> Woohoo! Why are you guys born so quickly? I felt like I just had you guys and now I have four infants. This has become a horror movie, in my opinion. All right, Chelsea, why don't you hang out with the rest of your kids, okay? Maybe tell them that they'll be okay. This is a disaster! It's the saddest little moment ever. Okay, let's compliment some costumes. We gotta have another, oh, that was a, that's an interesting take on a Halloween pumpkin. Maurice, why don't you carve a pumpkin? No, this okay. one's kind of got away from her a little bit. Or maybe she took her emotions out on the pumpkin. A valid choice, really. Dorian is upset. Okay, Clem, can you come help Dorian, please? Why don't you go feed Dorian and then go put Dorian down to bed? Chelsea, meanwhile, is getting a phone call. No, oh, no, she's coming for Dorian. Daisy's put a baby to bed. It was Jason. Cool. Oh my gosh, look who's here, it's Chloe. And she matches her sister, that's sweet. Look at these two having a bit of a chat. That's nice. Let's compliment Luna's costume. Question her costume. Oh, Izzy and Luna have a difficult family dynamic. Okay, I guess they did not get along. Luna was like, why are you questioning my costume? Are you trying to call me old? Sorry, I did not intend that to be the case. Dorian never got fed. Oh, Luna's evil. I did not remember that about Luna. That is a surprise. Has Luna always been evil? Oh my gosh, all my kids are going to bed. They're like, I'm tired. Are you not gonna finish this pumpkin? Oh no, he's still working on it. Oh God, Gudri's here. Wow, you've been living here for quite some time now. You know, most people would have turned tail and ran by now, but that's what I like about you. You never compromise, never give in. I may not have much material possessions or kind of moot for a ghost, but I'd like to offer you something for your perseverance. Yes! From living in this haunted house all month, we finally unlocked something that I've never seen before. This is cool. Take my favorite jacket. Now, don't worry. I've got plenty of them, but this is the one I died. I mean, this is the one very special to me. Oh no. Now keep it up. Plant your feet firmly on the ground. Haunted or not, this is your home. Life is as good as you make of it. And I know you'll make something good. But what happened in that jacket again? Gucci just gave me a death jacket. Ah, oh, it's in the past. Enjoy the coat. All the babies seem to be asleep. We are getting a sad song from Betty on the guitar. Look who's outside. It's Inez who's dressed as a mail carrier and just sadly, oh my God, she's just emotionally crying on the doorstep. She hasn't even gone inside. Oh, look who else is here. It's Paisley and she's dressed as Princess Leia. That's adorable. I love that for us. We have gold on our spooky party. Oh my God. And they made another really poor quality jacket lantern. It's a bit of a mess. This is a bit of a mess. Oh my God. These two are screaming at each other. There's not even ghosts in the house. But one thing I do want is I want Chelsea to check out that Goodry thing. Goodry coat, Goodry coat. Goodry coat, Goodry coat, Goodry coat, Goodry coat. Here it is. It's the Goodry coat. Wow, Chelsea, you unlocked this beautiful Goodry coat. I think I'm gonna go with the black. Very, very haunting. And then we'll do some black shoes to go with it. Wow, Chelsea, you really earned that. 
I'm so glad that we got this. I'm not gonna keep her in that note. Chelsea, although she had a pretty horrific day, she does seem to be pretty happy, feeling protective because she adores people nearby. She's having a baby. She loves being near her family and she's proud for mentoring. So even in spite of the dark times that Chelsea's faced in this episode, she seems pretty happy. I'm gonna leave this one right here. Thank you so much for celebrating one of my favorite holidays with me. I hope you have a fantastic Halloween, whether or not you're celebrating. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!